Welcome to your Daily Double Reading. Today we are kicking off the week with your theme of the week energy. We are going to get guidance for your week ahead. And to do that, we're going to be tapping into the Namaste Blessing and Divination card. So we're getting a blessing for the week uh, ahead for you, along with the Orion's Animal Tarot. And we'll get you two card combos to choose from. Oh, they're going to have me do the tarot first, just so you can see your full uh, blessing card. As you can see, they have all different um, illustrations on them. So let's do the... Tarot first. You can tune on in. Start seeing if your intuition is nudging you one way or the other, left or right. This is definitely a this or that pick. Yes. All right. Now, let's see what we have for blessing cards. As I said, they have different illustrations on them. So, that may also give your intuition an indication of which one is calling to you. What blessing goes along with your theme energy for this week? There's card option number one for the first combo. And, ooh, okay, this one goes this way. <laughs> But just for aesthetic sake, I'm going to flip it. Let me line these up. Okay. There you go. So two different illustrations to choose from for today's reading. Card option number one, card combo number one, and card combo number two for you. Once you've made your selection, head down to the description and click on the timestamp next to the card combo you've chosen, and I'll see you in your daily double reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double today, or should I say your weekly blessing. Let's see which blessing you have and then we'll look at what it's connected to tarot wise. Ooh, a blessing of gratitude and that heart. Also, you have the indication of angelic energy and protection. Okay, a blessing of gratitude. Be grateful for all your experiences, for all in life serves a purpose. There is a blessing in all that did or didn't happen. There is a blessing unfolding this very moment. Listen to your heart and follow its wisdom. Be mindful for the journey is as important as the destination. Interesting. So carrying gratitude with you all week long and again, not necessarily hating on the harder experiences that you may be going through this week or what you have been going through already. There is a blessing unfolding in this very moment. Maybe while you're watching this, okay? The blessing of gratitude. But I think throughout the entirety of the week, you are meant to look through the lens of I am blessed and I am grateful no matter what is happening because it's all about, again, like they're saying, the journey as opposed to um, Focusing all of your energy on where you're supposed to get, you know, like uh, the goal will be reached, but maybe not in the way that you thought it would be reached. So they're kind of asking you to release the expectation around the outcome and be grateful for what is now. Let's see what we have connected. Ah, the hermit. Interesting. This is a compass here showing up. It looks like a lynx to me, but I should look it up. I know. Lately, they're like, look it up, look it up. Okay, the Hermit card is a card that asks you to go within. It's a card of solitude. Lynx, yes, I was right. It's shocking. Sometimes the animals, they just trip me up. Okay, the Lynx energy is like a loner energy. And so over the course of this week, you can see that there's some definite going back within yourself, needing to connect back to your light, drowning out kind of whatever other people might be saying about your journey or your experience or whatever it is you're going through, whether it's good or bad, 
this combination of cards says that you are blessed throughout the week and there is some like inner reflection that may need to be done to make sure that you're connected to your true north here with this compass. So make sure you're feeling within yourself that you are headed in the right direction or you're doing things that are in alignment with you, specifically your soul, your purposeful energy, as opposed to, again, what other people may be saying, thinking, telling you to do, what their opinions are about what you're doing or not doing doing what you're choosing or not choosing, how you're feeling or not feeling. The Hermit is a card that really uh, gets us away from the external and tunes us back into ourselves and our true essence or true soul or spirit within. And you're doing that with a sense of gratitude. So if there are um, changes, adjustments, okay, thank you. They're saying the word adjustments. If there are adjustments that need to be made this week, it's quite all right to do that. It will come from a soul-led place and the adjustments will then kind of get that compass again, pointing you in the right direction, which is, you know, when, you're, when your compass points true north, that is your true spirit guiding you, that is spirit guiding you. And I feel, again, they're showing me these, um, these wings again, so I'm flipping it over. It's like you have support and protection right now as you journey forward and really begin to listen to what you need, what you want, what your soul is saying, and detaching a bit or drowning out the noise of the outside world with the silence of solitude and quiet. What is your inside self saying? A little fuzzy. What is your inside self saying? And are you grateful? So listening to your heart, listening to your soul, checking on your direction, spending some time within yourself, it's all available for you this week. And I feel like you're being blessed as you allow yourself to do that. Be mindful for the journey is as important as wherever it is that you're trying to get to. So I hope that this serves you for the week ahead, group one. If you enjoyed this reading, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can choose their doubles every day as well. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss my next daily double and my pick a card readings that are being posted. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello, group two, and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you have chosen the second card combo here for theme of the week and your blessing. And your card is actually meant to be turned like this. We can see a bundle of brightly colored trees all kind of leaning in to uh, each other. It's the feeling of being rooted with like community helping. We'll see what the blessing is. A blessed idea or a blessed idea. Ooh, interesting. This is like, it feels like hint, hint or something. Keep your channel open, hint, hint. Um, an idea manifests endless blessings wow but you must act to bring the idea to life the time is right know that the world is full of ideas floating around aimlessly until someone notices and breathes life into them that is so true this is your time to shine have faith hmm this is reminding me of what Spirit says about how they like deliver ideas to people because you're literally getting blessed with an idea that I'm sure you will not be the only one who gets that idea in some way, shape, or energetic form uh, delivered to them. Meaning, um, when Spirit has something that they want to bring to life or the divine has something that they want to kind of like bring to manifestation on the physical plane, they're not just going to give that idea or that notion or that epiphany or that euphoric they're saying euphoria but euphoric energy to someone else to, to, to one person excuse me they're going to provide it to many so it won't just be you getting the blessed idea that's important to recognize it's be, the reason why uh, they do that is because not you know it's like the universe has a plan and not every single human being or physical being is going to take advantage of bringing that idea to life. So if they just give it to one person, then that would take a lot longer for it to manifest on the physical plane. Um, that's why oftentimes you will see like similar people who have nothing to do with each other coming out with like producing or creating something that is very similar. And that's because, boop, the idea was dropped in both of their heads, then they put their unique spin on it and to bring it to life. So this energy is that for you. Um, it will be up to you whether or not, see, you, but you must act to bring the idea to life. The time is right. Mm. <laughs> 
The time is right. Know that the world is full of ideas floating around aimlessly until someone notices and breathes life into them. Like I said, it feels more like they drop ideas into, it's like the right frequency. If you're tuned into a certain frequency and then a person across the world is also tuned into that frequency and a person across the country or your next door neighbor, like who, who knows how many people, right? <clears throat> I don't have the deets on that, excuse me. Not all those people are going to go, yeah, let me, I have the, you know, the confidence and the motivation to actually make this happen. I have the resources to make this happen. So whatever this idea is that they're talking about this week, you know, there's like a theme around it. You may find that it's just something simple and it's not this huge kind of crazy idea that is going to reinvent the way we do things, right? It doesn't need to be that. It's simply an idea that reinvents the way you do something. That's what they just said. So it's a way that's, maybe it's like a shortcut for you. It's interesting that this is coming in as theme of the week. You may get this at the very start of the week. We have the Lionsgate portal going on right now. You may get this around the peak of the portal, which would be 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, you wanna make sure that you're taking advantage of the portal energy for sure. If you want more information or you'd like to have a bit of help with your alignment, I do have an alignment event going on. You'll find that link down below. Um, yeah, it just feels, it's a bright idea, but it's more than that. And it's going to change the way that you look at something, do something. It's like a question mark right now. Let's see what's connected. I'm interested. See if we can get some more info. Ooh, three of pentacles. Look at these ants. They're all collaborating together. They're, you know, the pentacles are in the water droplets. So they're helping each other to bring them down hmm. and gather them, yes. See, it's like the idea of multiple people working together. So maybe you get an idea and it needs multiple people, like it needs the community, like you're rearranging your home in some way. So in order to do that, you need to call in, you know, different members of your family or um, people with different trades, you know? Uh, it feels like there's a community that is involved in creatively bringing this idea to life. But I love that there is a physical card here with this for you group two. This means that like it's available to be brought to life. I don't know that you'd be able to do it alone. Maybe. Sometimes with the three of pentacles, it's like you already have the resources in front of you. You just have to use them in a different way. Or you think you don't have the resources, but they are available. That's why I was saying like not everybody has the resources. In this case, they're telling you you do have them or they are available to you. So either a community will help you or you'll be using your resources in a way to bring something to life, to bring an idea to life or to reinvent something in your life. This is exciting energy, really. I mean, the... The suit of pentacles is all about earth energy. So that's how I know this idea that is essentially air, divine and divine energy and air, right? Ideas are air, is brought down to earth. <laughs> Literally, you have to work on it. And a three of pentacles is also like a very creative energy. So it's like creatively finding the people, using the tools, whatever it is, using the resources, moving that over here, moving that over there, seeing something in a different way and then being able to rearrange it so that it does work. Very fun theme of the week for you guys. This feels like it's gonna be a creative week for this group. I hope you will be open. Keep your channel open. That's all I have to say about that because you will be given, if you're getting this card, you will be given the idea. Maybe you'll be getting multiple ideas and you do have, of course, the ability to bring them into life. It's very nice. Maybe you'll need a little help, but that's not the point. I would take full advantage of this because the time is right. You must act to bring the idea into life. And even if you need a little bit of assistance or a community to help you, I would very much consider um, doing that, group number two. So I hope that this serves you. What an exciting energy to have coursing through the week. Maybe you'll have multiple ideas as well, so don't neg negate that. It may not be just one idea, maybe. It's multiple ideas, very fun. So I hope this serves you. Again, if you enjoyed this reading and you don't wanna miss my future readings, you know what to do. Of course, hit that like button, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my future videos. And I will see you in the next Daily Double.